Welcome to this Research Data Management Webinar from the Department of Engineering Library, University of Cambridge. So you're collecting data or reusing existing data. But how will you organise, store and manage it? This video should help you get a sense of the basics of research data management and prepare you to create your own data management plan. We are going to look at questions like, what is data anyway? What issues do you need to think about? How can you organise your data? Where will you store it and how can you share it? And how do you begin planning all this? Much like with the life cycle of your research, from idea to thesis, publication and beyond, your data has a life cycle too, including data collection, analysis, storing and backing up, sharing, and reuse. Data management is the process of creating a system of care before, during, and after your research project. Good data management helps to make sure your data are well organised, documented, stored, and accessible, which is important both for you as a researcher and for future reproducibility. Whether you're creating your own data or reusing existing data, there are similar issues you need to think about, including data standards and representations, metadata and description, what you need to capture and store, how it is shared, version control, and ethical responsibilities. Most often you will organise your data using some sort of filing system. Take a look at the two project folders on this slide. Which do you think is better organised? A seems quite random, while B seems more thought out. How you organise your files at the start of a research project will shape how they grow and develop, and whether they will stay organised over time. Think about organising your files in a way that makes sense to you now, and will continue to make sense to you six months or a year later. You can follow a similar structure to B on this slide, or create your own. Make any file names you use consistent and meaningful to you and to anyone else who needs to access them, so that when you come back to them in the future you can see at a glance what each file is. You can use dates and version numbers to keep track of what version a file is, or if you need more support for version control, you can use services like GitHub. If you're working as part of a research project, it's important that everyone use the same file naming convention, like this one, showing the document type, title, version, and date. Where will you store your data? Your answer to this might depend on the security level of your data. You can see the main security levels used by the university on this slide. Most university services deal with data up to level 2. If you're not sure what security level your research data is, talk with your supervisor or your research colleagues. The university offers cloud storage options, including Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox and SharePoint. These are all supported by UIS, the University Information Services, and so they are more secure than personal cloud storage accounts would be. Other storage options include external hard drives, other cloud storage accounts, GitHub repositories, the university data repository, filing cabinets for paper notes and physical samples. However you choose to store your data, you should make sure that it's secure and meets any funder or partner requirements you may have. Remember to back up regularly in at least two separate locations. Before you start storing your data, it's worth taking some time to think and plan where you're going to do this and what your backup schedule is going to be. If you're working with a research group or you need your supervisor or PI to be able to access your data, make sure you store it somewhere that is secure but that everyone who needs to can access it. The University of Cambridge has a policy that university staff and students ought to make their research data underpinning published research findings as widely available as possible. Many funders also have requirements to make research data available. For instance, the EPSRC 
require all publications to include a statement describing how to access the data, while the Wellcome Trust require projects to share data as open access. If you need to keep your data restricted, for instance due to sensitive data or a non-disclosure agreement, you will need to think about this in advance, and perhaps prepare a data statement to justify this. The best way to ensure that you're addressing all the issues you need to think about with managing your data is by creating a data management plan. This is a document that you write before you begin data collection, and which you can update as your research develops. It helps you think through questions like, what types of data are you working with? How are you organising and storing your data? What is your data backup strategy? What are your plans for data sharing? Are you working with commercial data or sensitive data? And do you have any requirements from funders or commercial partners about what you need to do with your data? In the Department of Engineering in-person session on managing your data, you will be guided through the creation of a data management plan by one of the library team. The website DMP Online is an online tool for creating and sharing a specific and personalised data management plan. Before the in-person session, you will need to create a free account on this website. You can also take a look at it and start noting down your thoughts. It's okay if you don't have answers to each of the questions it will ask you just yet, but they should prompt you to think about what you need to find out for and plan for. For more information about data management, data policies and support for creating a data management plan, see the Research Data Management website at data.cam.ac.uk. Thank you for watching this webinar. Remember to think about how you're planning to organise your data, where you will store it and how you can share it, and to do this before you start collecting data to save yourself difficulties later on. Creating a data management plan is the best way to make sure you can manage your research data over the course of your research project. If you have any questions, please email library at eng.cam.ac.uk. Please remember to sign up to DMP Online before attending the in-person session on managing your data run by the Engineering Library team. Thank you and good luck with your data management.